Elon Musk's plan to bring back former President Trump's Twitter account is getting support from the social media giant's co-founder, remember him, Jack Dorsey. He tweeted this, it was a business decision, it shouldn't have been, and we should always revisit our decisions and evolve as necessary. I stated in that thread and still believe that permanent bans of individuals are directionally wrong. Guy Benson is a Fox News radio show host. It's a great show, and he's also a Fox News contributor, and he is here. What's happening? What do you Hello. think of that? It's an interesting line from Jack Dorsey, mm -hmm. right? Like, he had power over this. It was his decision to make, and I like self-reflection. I like looking back and saying, okay, maybe we could have done things differently. I think there's probably a number of people down at Mar-a-Lago and elsewhere saying, okay, huh. where was this thought process yeah. when you actually pulled the No strings? doubt about it. I mean, this was far from a profiling courage, right? right the I next mean, guy I, says he's going to do it. If I say that, maybe I'll get banned today. But where was Jack Dorsey a year and a half yeah. ago? And now he's chiming in because he wants to make sure that Musk gets the deal done. That's right. They're Here's, in on it together. Let's listen now. to what Musk said here. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> uh, permanent bans should be uh, extremely rare and really reserved for accounts that are uh, bots or. Uh, spam scam accounts. I do think that it was not correct uh, to uh, ban Donald Trump. I think that was, that was a mistake because it alienated a large part of the country and did not ultimately result in Donald Trump not having a voice. It seems quite reasonable and commonsensical. Pretty good analysis there. <clears throat> and I think what a lot of people have wondered throughout this process is, okay, fine, Twitter has their rules, Twitter has their guidelines and they are entitled to make those and enforce them but the enforcement seems constantly bizarre and hypocritical and unevenly applied how can author you know authoritarian governments have their official accounts out there tweeting things to the world when they don't allow their own populations to have twitter or see an unfettered internet how or, can you have to just suggest the destruction of israel right so exactly the iranians the chinese the list goes on but donald trump who is duly elected president of the United States of America. Right. Whether you love him or hate him, that is what happened in 2016. To ban him for any number of sins, you know, fine. But then these other world leaders who ban their own populations from looking at the internet, they're allowed to spread actual propaganda, you know, anti-Semitic propaganda, communist propaganda. That, I think, rubs a lot of people mm -hmm. the wrong way. And Elon seems to have... Uh, a more enlightened view of this, saying, you know, that doesn't make sense. He lives by a code. Like princi there's principles that you should live by, and he would live by them. Put the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from Russia in the same category. I mean, right now, there's yes, spewing 100%. propaganda every day during this war. Uh, back to the comments from Musk. He also said that he should acquire Twitter in two to three months, which means by the end of the summer, you know, he, he owns it. But he was bemoaning the fact that Trump is now on Truth Social. Right. And was suggesting that we lost a huge part of our audience because of the decisions that were made before him. Uh, he's not wrong about that. However, my question is this. Trump has said publicly he's not going to come back to Twitter, right? He's got truth now. That's his baby. That's his realm. If you want Trump tweets, basically, go to Truth Social. Does he have the discipline? Mm -hmm. to stay off of Twitter? Can he resist the siren song of those millions of followers mm -hmm. and those and dopamine hits? And also driving the media crazy. Well, dr <laughs> and also driving people to Truth Social via yeah. Twitter, right? Maybe. Occasionally popping his head up and saying, remember, like an I'm back <laughs> slam dunk tweet from Donald Trump <laughs> right. would be one of the most viral tweets in the history of Twitter. Right about that. And he and could then direct people over to his own thing and sort of play both sides of it, which he often does. Yeah. So, I would be surprised if he sticks by this plan of saying, oh, no more Twitter for me. I think he likes it too much, and I think it benefits him in a number of ways, politically and uh, I would just add to that, that would be one heck of an NFT, would it not? It would sure be. That's one. And number two, watch the tail number on Elon Musk's jet, because when he lands at Mar-a-Lago, maybe there's something to do in the summer. <laughs> Thank you, Guy. My pleasure. Good to see, see you. Guys.